we've been having a tremendous time here at this web. It is the web of a brown button spider. And it's not an orb web in the way that you would normally imagine it, so it's not a traditional web. It's like a net that is created here. And you can see there a grasshopper that has been caught. And the brown button spider spent a lot of time wrapping it up in the silk. So it would come across and then sort of take pieces of the net, produce new pieces of silk and then wrap it up. And so it immobilized the grasshopper before, just before you came to us, it finally sunk its fangs into the grasshopper. So the grasshopper will now be dying. I suspect that's why it's sort of flicking around like that, because the poison, the venom, that has been injected into the body is now starting to kill it. And hopefully the spider will come back. But I think once the spider's bitten the grasshopper, there's no real point for her to come back until it's dead. And what's really interesting, if you are perhaps not used to watching spiders and things like this, is that the spider's venom is a little bit like the digestive juices of your stomach. So the digestive juices of your stomach, as we know, break down the food that you put into it. And that process happens largely externally for the spider. So the spider bites the animal here, uh, in this case a grasshopper, and its insides almost liquefy. And then the spider will come along and eat its pre-digested, like a sort of protein shake, and swallow it down. But that grasshopper, although it looks alive, is soon to be dead. And I'm just trying to see if I can't see the spider. Oh, there's something else quite amazing here. I'm just trying to see if we can't get the spider to come out. I don't think we can. Um, Fergus, if you come around this side, or maybe, let me just try and point with a piece of grass and you can see if you can, you can see it or not. No, the spider came back, did it? No. If I point up through here, and you see this piece of grass? Yeah. Just inside here, in amongst these leaves, are three or four egg sacs. Can you see them there? They're sort of spiky balls. Mm. And those spiky balls are the egg sacs of the brown button spider. And so there are going to be lots and lots of spiders here, or spiderlings, sometime soon. Now, a brown button spider is something quite familiar to many people, because even in the United States there, you get something called a brown recluse, which is very similar, and of course very closely related to the much more famous black widow, or black button spider. And this is a sort of slightly less venomous version of the black widow. You might call it a brown widow, if you like. And then over here, there's another grasshopper. But this one doesn't realize that it is in the worst possible place. Can you see it there? You got it there, Ferg? And that grasshopper there, if it jumps up, it's going to get caught in this web of death. Kale, a very good question. You say, why do spiders wrap their food in web? Well, it's to keep them safe and to keep them from escaping after they've been bitten or just prior to them being bitten. In this case, the grasshopper could have done quite a lot of damage to the spider. The, the spider's smaller than the grasshopper, and it's got six legs, two of them with pretty vicious spikes on them. And so what she wanted to do was immobilize it slightly before she dug her fangs into it. And then now she's dug her fangs into it, she'll leave it for a while, and then, and then she'll probably come and suck it dry. A lot of spiders, though, bite their prey first and then wrap them in silk so that they don't damage the web while they're dying, and they can also be kept safe from any other predators that might want to come and steal them, like a bird, for example, would definitely come and steal a dead grasshopper if it wasn't covered in sticky silk. So that's one, those are two of the reasons. And there's one other reason. For example, a golden orbweb spider will wrap its, well, the, the dry shells of its prey up and leave them in a line, and that stops birds flying into the web and destroying it, because obviously a bird is much too big for a spider in this part of the world. Alrighty, from one 